Hi, this is Eric with mobilemusthave.com and today we've got something new and exciting because it will allow you to power a lot of devices, including PepWave devices, via battery. This is our new 30,000 milliamp portable power station. Come along and we'll tell you all about it. Now, portable power kind of bricks like this have been around for quite a while, but there's actually a lot of differences in terms of what they can actually do. And that can kind of greatly vary what their costs are and kind of what you see. Um, I've been pretty unhappy with uh, some of the more smaller portable power systems that I found out there. And I found that um, even though they have like very large batteries inside, inside of them, you can find other 30,000 milliamp batteries. They oftentimes just don't charge the devices that I use on a regular basis. So we've been working with a manufacturer and they've helped us come up with this little beast, which is a 30,000 milliamp uh, hour battery, but this has 65 watts of power output via the USB-C port um, using the power delivery or PD standard with the USB-C port. So that's a lot of power. Before we get into power stuff, let's just talk about size. This is just a little over six inches. I think it's about six and a quarter inches long. It's about two inches, two and a half inches, or two and a quarter inches actually wide, and about one and a quarter thick. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty packed with lithium cells inside of there, but they've kept the size down. Uh, aesthetically, this is all aluminum alloy with a really nice finish here. Um, I've been using this battery pack for, I wanna say about five months. This has been one of two different units that I've kept in my bag, uh, same exact units, but I have two of them just because I wanted to make sure that we had really tight quality control and they have been great. Looking at it really close, this is an iPhone 12 Pro, uh, not the Max, and you can see that it's a smidge bigger than the phone. Obviously, it's thicker, but that can kind of give you an idea. I'll give you a close-up here to kind of give you a comparison of what you're looking at from a size perspective. If you're a member of our membership rewards program, remember that you get points back as part of that membership. Technically, if you're not a member, you get points as well. They're just not worth as much. You get double the point value if you're a member. So um, that might be an, uh, an accessory, either you know, cable, stuff like this, or possibly this battery, that would uh, be something you could use your points on. If you're interested in the points, you can go up to you know, log in to mobilemusthave.com and then go to my account, and you'll see a section there um, actually in the bottom left-hand corner, there's kind of a little pop-up that says my rewards. And in there you can redeem your reward points for gift cards. And then you can use those basically like store credit at checkout to knock dollars off the price. Or if you've purchased, um, enough, you possibly could get something like this completely for free or as part of your reward benefit. So make sure you check that out. For those who don't understand or know about our memberships, you can go ahead and check it out at membership.mobilemusthave.com. Uh, there's a whole slew of benefits uh, as part of our memberships. You'll get the best prices, discounts on devices if you're a member, upgraded two-day shipping, a membership to the Mobile Internet Resource Center where we've got forums staffed by myself and others to answer all sorts of more advanced technical questions. We run monthly webinars on public and a whole host of other benefits. Reward points like we talked about, all sorts of other stuff. So make sure you check out that membership. Memberships typically will pay for themselves uh, in the first purchase, but definitely within the first year, especially if you're looking at purchasing any of our mobile data plans because you get uh, discounts off plans per month. And then if you have more than one plan, the discounts stack and you can get up to $40 a month off of two plans. It, it kind of adds up really fast. So make sure you check out that membership, but let's get back to the battery. In addition to that 65 watt US, uh, USB-C port, which we'll talk about in a minute, we have two uh, QC 3.0, quick charge 3.0 ports over here. And both of these are capable of being utilized at the same time, in addition to the USB-C port as well. Those USB uh, 
quick charge ports here can deliver. Uh, one of them uses QC standard that will go up to 18 watts and the other one will go up to 22 watts depending on if you're on the Apple or the Android standard. But you're going to get the maximum benefit out of both of these ports and again they can operate simultaneously. If you're looking at uh, QC ports you typically have to utilize a single dedicated cable that supports QC which will typically be the cable that came with your device if you're looking at a phone. Uh, so, so that works. Um, but we also at mobilemusthave.com sell squid cables or cables that have multiple ends on them. And what that basically means is that uh, this is an optional cable that you can see with the battery pack, but we sell these, which are great. So you get that USB-A port that plugs right into this device here. And then on the opposite side, we've got two lightning cables for, sorry, that's the wrong ones, two lightning cables here, which are for um, iOS devices, iPhones, et cetera, a USB-C port here, and a micro USB as well, all on the same cable. Now, with a battery pack like this, this has the capability to simultaneously output three amps on these cables at the same time at five volts, which is kind of called the, uh, the sync ability to do multi-output on that single port. So that's, that's a pretty cool feature. Now it's not quick charge. You can't do any quick charge with a multi-cable like this, but it is an option just for you to be aware of. I find honestly, when I need to quick charge, I use the dedicated cable, but the vast majority of the time, like when I'm going to bed or I'm just leaving my device on the side of the table, I really just kind of want to plug them all in and not think about it for a while and come back and have them all be charged. And that's where this cable really comes in handy. Going back to the battery for a second, uh, it comes with this, which is a USB-C to USB-C cable. It's a little over uh, one meter. It's almost close to four feet long. So it's a nice long cable and this supports 100 watts of power delivery. So you can literally take this, plug it right into your MacBook uh, Pro power brick and plug the other end right into your MacBook Pro and it will get the full benefit of uh, the power without using the battery. So it's nice because you get that extra cable. Now, that being said, I've got right here a MacBook Pro 14 inch, new for uh, kind of came out in, in the last year. And this comes with a 65 watt power adapter. I'm pretty sure it's 65 watts. It's right around there. Um, so this supports 65 watt output. Now it's not to say that you couldn't charge up a laptop with a 40 watt um, uh, power supply as long as it supported the PD standard, power delivery standard, uh, but why not have it output the maximum amount that the laptop can support? Now this, this laptop was completely dead. I plugged it in a second ago, but we should be able to see that come on in a minute. And there, there you go. It will come on in a second. I'll show you how it'll show that the battery is completely exhausted, um, but now it is charging up as a result of that portable power pack. So a lot of folks think, oh, USB-C, because it comes in cars nowadays, that it's all basically the same standard and it's all delivering the same amount of power. And unfortunately, that's not the case. You really want to look for a portable power system that has that PD designation, which means that it can step up the voltage and deliver those higher wattages for big devices like laptops. You also get this nifty little screen here on the front. It's a digital screen that will tell you the percentage of battery left as well as whether or not it is delivering the power delivery PD output power or not, or PD input power from a charging perspective. So it gives you a little bit of additional information on that screen. And in addition to that, there is a power button here to wake up the battery. Uh, typically it will wake up itself automatically when you plug in a device, but if you just want to check the status of the battery without any cables connected, you can press that button and it'll wake it up. And in certain situations with cables like this, if it doesn't necessarily detect the device, that button will also wake up those USB ports. So what can you do in addition to, you know, powering up a big device like this, which is still charging, even though the screen is on is actively working. Well, you could charge uh, like an iPhone 13. This is a 12, but a 13 would charge almost from kind of completely dead to full uh, just about nine times. <laughs> so that's a lot of power delivery from a small power pack. And that assumed you never charged it at all. Moving on to the charging side of things. This is where I actually see these devices really fall short most of the time. Some of them just don't have the power delivery, the high wattage power delivery at all. So the USB port is really just a glorified five volt uh, delivery system. That's all you can really get out of it. Um, but the ones that 
do have higher wattage oftentimes don't have it on the charge input side. So this one has a 45 watt max power input that will take to charge these batteries. Um, a lot of that has to do with you know safety and making sure that they don't charge the batteries too fast. 45 watts is a lot of power to put into a battery pack in such a compact housing. But what that means for you is that you'll be able to charge this from kind of stone dead all the way up to full in just about three hours, which is pretty quick considering how much power you can get out of this device for your mobile application use. Now, if you're in a pinch and you don't have um, you know, a, a 45 watt power delivery uh, to charge this up, an example of how you would charge that up, by the way, would be like using the power brick that came with this laptop. You'd plug it, your, your power brick into this and it would charge it up just like it charges your laptop up. You don't have to have one of those big bricks. You could also step it down to like one that came with an iPad. The newer iPads and even some of the uh, newer phones come with 22 or 25 watt chargers. Those will charge that up um, in the high speed charge capacity as well, probably closer to four or five hours with those, but you don't have to worry about all that. That's the beauty of the USB-C power delivery standard. If it's a USB-C device, you can plug it in and it's not going to do any damage and that will allow you to charge this up but if you're in a pinch so you're in a car or something and you just want to top off that battery or you're on an airplane and you've got a regular you know usb cable that goes to usb c that would be like your standard ipad uh cable works that way um you can go ahead and or our cable the squid cable you can go ahead and plug this into a regular port and then take that usb-c port plug it into that same port and it will charge the device now just keep in mind if you use standard usb like this it's going to be charging that at five volts at around three amps so uh it's going to take a while it's probably going to take 24 hours to charge the battery but it can do it in a pinch if you want to just give yourself a little extra power especially if you're in a car ride or something and you just want to try and top off a few percents of the battery it can be done moving on for a second to the world of pep link uh let's talk about that for a minute i'll put this away now we've got our we've got a couple different devices here this is an older generation transit and this is actually a unit that uh, was a prototype unit that didn't see the light of day, but it very much resembles the new Transit Pro that's in our Ultimate Road Warrior bundle. So I can show you that as an example because it has the same power input ports on the front. Now you've got these USB-C ports on the front here. And if we plug that in, and then we plug that right into the battery and go ahead and take a look, we will see in a minute that we'll have our red status light that will soon become green, meaning this device is powering up and fully functional powered with this battery pack with the included cables right out of the box. So ultimate road warrior uh, devices can be powered with this battery right out of the box with no additional accessories. Interesting fun fact here also, you may notice that this little POE ready light is green instead of red on this prototype device. And what that essentially means is that this battery pack is delivering enough power that it actually was able to enable the power over ethernet ports that came on this device. Now the Ultimate Road Warrior bundle does not come with PoE. It's not a feature that was enabled in that router. But as routers are released, if you see one that has PoE capability and a USB-C port on it in uh, the future, I'm not aware of anything coming right now, but I know that they developed this standard in this prototype for a reason. Uh, you will likely be able to use it with this battery pack. So you can get that power over ethernet output enabled on a device with battery power. That's pretty cool. So what if you don't have an Ultimate Road Warrior and you've got a different uh, PepLink device, maybe a, a Balance 20X here, or possibly the Transit uh, Classic that we have, or maybe one of the newer um, minis that come in the full timer bundle. Don't worry, you're covered. We have an, old, an optional cable pack that is uh, listed in the listing and it includes two cables here. One of them, which I'll show you first, will take that USB-C um, output that you saw there and it will convert it to the 2.1 millimeter standard barrel connector. So you get your three foot cable here. We're gonna plug that into the USB-C and then let's we'll pick the Balance 20X. And we'll plug that in, give it a second, and we'll have a status light in just a minute. We'll show you a close-up of that right now. 
in addition to the Balance 20X, if you've got one of the kind of legacy devices, the uh, Max BR1 MK2, very popular in our previous full timer bundles, uh, the Transit Original, uh, anything with that round barrel connector will go ahead and power up with that optional cable kit. So you are covered. In addition to the USB-C to barrel connector cable that you get with the kit, if you go ahead and look at the second cable that comes with our optional cable kit, they're both included. That will go from the barrel connector to the four pin Molex that is on newer devices. So if you're looking at the newer full timer bundle, the BR1 Mini, um, the new UBR that just was launched that comes um, in our new Road Warrior package, which is a dual Cat 7 modem. Um, that's an awesome one. That's going to be a video coming very soon. Uh, let's see the uh, transit. I'm sorry, the uh, BR1 Pro 5G or Cat 20. All of these use this four pin locking um, micro Molex connector and the included um, or the optional cable kit that's included as an option. You get both of these will power up any Peplink device that has that port. As you can see, this one right there is powering up as we speak. So in conclusion, if you have the Ultimate Road Warrior, kind of the latest generation, the VR2, then you can go ahead and utilize the included cables with the battery with no additional options. Um, if you have one of the other generation devices, either with the four pin or the round connector, pick up the optional cable kit um, and that will give you the option of the barrel or the four pin all in that single option cable kit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about this product or any product at mobilemusthave.com, you can hop on over to mobilemusthave.com and you can um, start up a chat with us in the bottom right hand corner. Through that chat, you can also request a consultation with one of our experts if you'd like a call back to talk about our solutions. If you're not sure what might be best for you, we'd be more than happy to schedule that with you. Or you can always email us at info at mobilemusthave.com 24 seven and we will help you out. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the road.